Let's talk about being functional in a landscape. This is the first and most important of the five considerations of design. Just a refresher, the five considerations of sustainable design are functional, maintainable, environmentally sound, cost-effective, and visually pleasing, and they are in that order of consideration. A functional landscape allows you to do anything you want in the landscape or accomplish in that space. It means accessibility and movement, using the space wisely, shelter and leisure, relaxing, cooking and dining, also working, playing, and that can include gardening, which could be work or play, vehicle parking and storage, and remember about access to utilities. Stormwater management is extremely important. And then if you have pets, you would want to be considering some features of petscaping and allowing for space for exercise for those pets. So let's start with access and movement. In the first picture here, you can see that we've got a path, a mulched path. We also have steps and we have paver paths. So these all allow for people to move easily through a landscape. That's a very important function. A landscape is not successful if you can't get to the front door or the side door or the garage very easily. It means access to spaces within spaces. So your entire landscape is one space and then inside that space you have smaller spaces or different areas. You want to use these spaces efficiently and you also want to be able to move easily between them. Functionality is important when you consider deck and patio design. You want to have good access and traffic patterns within those areas, shelter from sun and wind, lots of seating and gathering spaces for entertaining and relaxation, even some meditation. And then in Minnesota, we particularly like cooking out of doors and dining al fresco. This is a great example. This is a small patio, but lots of functionality within it. First of all, there's excellent access to it. It has good seating, plenty of seating. There's even seating on the rock wall or on the stone wall there by those orange cushions. It has a fire pit for gathering and it's shaded and protected from wind and sun. This is a larger patio. This is over on the State Fairgrounds and it's done by a Beaver Landscape Design Group. It is a larger deck patio type area and it has good accessibility with its steps as well as the wall spaces. And this is a private landscape area, very cozy little seating area with room for a couple of people and a table. It's protected from the elements and it also offers, offers some privacy. Another important function of a landscape is spaces for storing RVs or recreational vehicles as well as trailers and other uh, vehicles. Parking areas and driveways are important as well. You want to make sure they're large enough and that they have good accessibility to the house and the garage. And you also need to think about snow removal. And this is key. We oftentimes people will forget about snow removal because they're usually doing their landscaping kind of their ideas are happening in the spring, they're tired of thinking about snow, and so they sometimes forget about that. But it's really a critical function of a landscape here in Minnesota. So you need to think about how your snow is removed. Is it hand shoveled? Does it have a, do you have a walk behind snow blower? Do you have a commercial company that comes with a plow and plows it out for you? And where is that snow going to be going to go? So you need to make room in the landscape where you can safely throw that snow and it can accommodate all the snow that you need to store during the winter. Parking is important as well. This is a commercial landscape over in Golden Valley and this landscape has a beautiful native garden in the front of it but you could see they need a lot of parking space and accessibility in that respect is very key when it came to designing this uh, the functions of this landscape. Here's another view of that same landscape and not only do they need parking for cars but also access for the tractor trailers that are delivering their materials.
Function is also important when you think about the work that you have to do uh, and also access to utilities. Uh, in the home landscape, you can see we have a rain barrel. Uh, that's important if you're a rain harvester. Also compost bins, we want those to be accessible as well. And then definitely your utilities like air conditioning units, meters uh, for your electric and gas, those are all important utilities that need accessibility. Stormwater best management practices, or BMPs as we call them, are important to consider as a function also of a landscape. Whether you have rain barrels or cisterns or a rain garden, those are all important functions and they need to be identified up front when you're doing the design. And then pets are important too. I don't know about you, but I'm a dog lover. That's my dog, uh, the white dog on the left. And uh, it's important that she have enough room to play and places that she can run and jump from. And also to have shelter, like a, a dog kennel or fencing that's proper too for the dog and the size of the dog. Now go to the next presentation, and that is on maintainability, how you will maintain your landscape.